Good evening to you, Tom and Jen. That alleged partner, Charles Normal, is accused of committing crimes with this guy, Nathan Lamontagne, that date back to 2009. Now, Lamontagne insists he was never inside the Quesada's house. He's accused as an accomplice. He bragged on the stand today about helping investigators find evidence that was key to the case. Investigators got their first break in the Bedford home invasion case early last year from Methuen police who called Bedford police with information only the alleged attacker and the victim would know. Specifically he referenced a coat hanger which had been used during the course of a sexual assault which was uh, left at the crime scene and he was aware of that. Nathan Lamontagne is 27 years old with a lengthy criminal record including three felony burglary convictions. Investigators say Lamontagne initially declined to discuss the Bedford case but eventually guided police to Milford locations where evidence was dumped. He was very excited about the fact that he was the one who had pointed it out and made it clear to me that that he wanted to take the credit for that. Monday's hearing focused on 20 pre-trial motions. The defense wants three pieces of evidence suppressed. Lamontagne took the stand testifying at length about asking for an attorney three times and insisting he wanted to be prosecuted in the federal system, in part because he's very afraid of Charles Normal, who's charged with rape in the Bedford case. They held out two pictures. What pictures? What would describe the pictures? It was a uh, pretty horrific scene. Um, look like, I would say, a murder scene. Yeah. If that was one of my family members, I wouldn't, you know, I, I would want justice to be done. Lawyers say Charles Normal was inside the house when the Quesadas came home, surprising him. Lamontagne called Normal from the car, told him to get out. Normal stayed, alleged in a merciless attack on the couple that left the doctor unable to practice medicine. Sonia later died from an overdose of medication. I want to do the right thing. I'm extremely upset over the whole situation. Among other things, the defense wants the rape kit on Sonia Quesada thrown out, saying that their client had no idea what was going on inside the house, and evidence like that tends to inflame and incite a jury. The prosecution pushed back, saying Lamontame helped dispose of bloody clothes, and the jury should be aware of that. Jury selection gets underway October 20th. This trial expected to last about two weeks. Live in Manchester this evening, Amy Cavino, WMUR News 9.